hey, Facebook has been acting really crazy. It's the fall of 2019 and they are rolling out a lot of changes. Creator Studio is one of them. So today I wanted to take just a minute to kind of give you a quick walkthrough of Creator Studio. Now, one of the first signs that you might have that you have Creator Studio on your page is the fact that from the front end where you used to be able to hit this little arrow and actually schedule, guess what? It's not there anymore. And so that is an issue, right? Because we like to schedule a post out ahead of time. Running social media for our schools is not our full-time job, right? It's only part of our responsibility. And so this can be a challenge. Now, some people have found a workaround in saving it as a draft and then going and publishing it. I just wanna walk you through Creator Studio. So it will be rolling out to everyone if it's not there yet. Um, it's pretty intuitive, but I just wanted to walk you through, once you're inside of it, you can see that up in the upper left-hand corner, you can create a post. Well, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here, okay? Um, but right now, I just wanna show you how to create a post. You can also post something right here, okay? So let's just say I'm gonna post something. I'm gonna click here or I'm gonna hit create a post. And then it's just like before except the fact that right now in Creator Studio, which doesn't make sense to me, you can't like edit your photos. So you're going to share a photo and you're gonna find it on your desktop. Um, we just celebrated principal month and actually shared a video, but here's a still image of that. Um, you can see when I hover over it, it does not give me the edit option. So I'm not able to crop it, not able to put filter on it. I'm not able to put any text on it. I'm assuming that that's gonna come, but for right now, it, it isn't there. And so I'm gonna be able to create my text um, with the post just like before. And then if you click down here, you're going to be able to schedule it, backdate, save as draft, okay? But most of the time you're gonna schedule it and then guess what? You're used to this, right? It's gonna go out six months in advance. You can pick any time of day that you want to post that. Um, it's the same thing, I'm gonna discard that. Same thing for uploading a video, right? We're gonna upload maybe a single video. We're gonna grab that video. We're going to be able to put in the title and description, video details, pick the thumbnail, maybe add some subtitles. And then once you have that, you are going to be able to schedule it out um, just like you were before. And so um, you're gonna be able to schedule and pick a time and day that you wanna put it on there, okay? So that's basically Creator um, Studio. Um, you can look in Content Library, okay? And then inside Content Library, you're gonna see all posts, all published, scheduled posts, drafts, expire and expiring. So if you wanna look at your scheduled posts, um, you can look at all of those and do any kind of editing, rescheduling. Um, if you click on here, you're gonna notice, hey, I gotta add a couple more pictures. You can add photos in here, okay? So hopefully that is super helpful walkthrough. Now, inside Creator Studio, if you look up top here, you're gonna see an Instagram symbol. Great news with Creator Studio, you are able to create and schedule Instagram posts, okay? So if you are not connected yet, you're gonna scroll down here to Instagram accounts and you're gonna add your Instagram account. Now. To do this, you need to make sure that you're already logged in on another tab into the Instagram page that you want it to be connected to. So that's very critical. Um, make sure that before you try to do that, that you do that and then you will go through those steps, okay? Um, I am not going to do this because I already have my page. Um, you'll notice I'm an administrator of a lot of pages that are connected. But if you go to create a post, you can pick Instagram feed or IGTV, and then you are going to, and I'm sorry if it's loud, but my husband is out blowing leaves, so it's real life here at the home office. Um, you're gonna be able to write in your caption, you're gonna be able to add your content, and so you can take a picture. Now the one thing is in here, you're not gonna be able to add a, add a filter. So you don't have all the editing techniques that you have when you upload directly into Instagram. But over here, you'll notice that you can hit the schedule bar. And if you had similar information that you scheduled over on Facebook, 
you're going to have to schedule it on Instagram as well um, with a date and a time, and then you can schedule that out and voila, you'll be able to post on Instagram. Now, if you really dislike Creator Studio, one workaround that some of uh, one of our account managers, Allison, found is if you type in business.facebook.com and you type in your the name of your page, okay? Mine is New Auburn School. I'm going to leave this site. It's going to go back to your old publishing tools view. And you actually will, at least for the time being, be able to once again schedule what I like to say from the front end. So this is the kind of a workaround. Uh, business.facebook.com slash the name of your page. You're going to be able to schedule from the front end like you were before. You still do not have the ability though to edit these pictures. So that, that choice is not there. Okay, that's gone. Um, but you are gonna be able to schedule out up to six months in advance. So that's really awesome. Um, you also will be able to get into publishing tools um, and be able to kind of use that as you did before um, instead of going through Creator Studio, but you will see Creator Studios up there, right? Um, so that's kind of my breakdown of Creator Studio for schools right now. If you have questions and want to post those below, I'll be sure to try and help you. We're still learning a lot. There's obviously a lot of choices. Don't get overwhelmed. Let's stick to the basics, right? Let's stick to what we need to be successful for our school, which we love posting, you know, at least twice a day, if not three times a day, scheduling those posts out on social media, um, sharing the great stories that are happening in your school. So thanks so much again, post your questions below and we'll see you next time.